Hey guys, I'm Matt Asplund and welcome back to another Unreal Engine Fab Marketplace video. Today, what we're going to be going over is the June Flash sale where you can save up to 70% off over thousands of assets until the 20th of June, which is obviously tomorrow, so we've not got a lot of time, but that is why it's a flash sale. So today, I'm going to be covering the top 10 ones which I found. But obviously, let me know in the comments down below any more that you have found as well that you think are worth sharing. But without further ado, let's get right into it starting with sky creator now sky creator is an extensive tool to control dynamic weather and time of day using realistic volumetric clouds atmosphere and visual effects within unreal engine with a built-in weather preset system you can create endless amounts of different looking weather and lighting conditions and switch any of them in real time now this is something which i have personally used as well in many of my different projects and i think it is very very good so some of the features of this are weather preset system, allowing you to create endless amounts of different looking weather and lighting conditions, unified multi-layered volumetric cloud material with extended quality settings. It is highly art directable and customizable from vast realistic cloudscapes to stylized looking skies. Built-in weather effects for rain, rain splashes, snow, lightning, volumetric wind, and much more. And built-in material effects as well for wetness, puddles, rain ripples, rain streaks, snow and more. Now this looks absolutely beautiful but it is also game ready optimized and runs very smoothly within your games. There are 39 included weather preset examples, there is an included blueprint controller example as well and this is also fully network replicated. So there are five blueprint classes within this as well as five C++ classes. Now this one is absolutely amazing, this is normally £134 for the personal license, but it is 30% off, so it's now £93. Or the professional is normally £536, but on sale for £375. So it's obviously quite expensive, but again, it is very, very good. Next up, we have the Abandoned Manor. Now this abandoned palace majestically emerges from the dense forest, bears traces of times. Through its ruined walls, it's possible to see echoes of its former glory. The small garden is lush with vegetation, and then the buildings lead to the tower towering over above them. Beneath the palace there is a network of mysterious corridors and the last form of vineyard. The atmosphere of mystery and oblivion mixes with melancholy and sadness, prompting reflection on the fragility of people's achievements. So this includes lumen lighting and UE5 nanite support, photogrammetry and properly optimized assets for games, and the best quality maps ready to use within your games and films. In total, there are around 220 unique meshes, but more than 400 with variations, all of which have automatically generated collision, as well as automatically generated LODs as well. There are 350 materials and material instances with 440 textures, with the text resolutions all being 4K. So I think this one looks absolutely fantastic. This is normally £134, but this is 70% off, so you can get it for just £40. The personal license, but the professional is only £400, but you can get it for £120. So that one is a good steal at 70% off. Next up, we've got EnviroSense Immersive Hand IK. Now this was created as a modular asset that could be added to a humanoid character that would provide the ability to interact with a gameplay environment in a more dynamic and immersive manner. Whilst procedural world interaction is the aim, the same system can be used to provide simple interactions with various gameplay objects, for example switches, levers and keypads, in the absence of dedicated animations. Now this is not a replacement for an animation driven IK enhanced specific action dedicated interaction system, but this provides an accessible multi-purpose modular solution to procedural and targeted sensing of the gameplay environmental objects delivered through procedural IK and hand animations. Hand placement can be fully procedural or driven by particular targets that can be controlled by end user code. So this supports both UE4 and UE5 mannequin and metahuman skeletons, a modular component system to confer procedural hand placement, dynamic sensing of specific objects, targeted IK interactions with specific objects, customizable for fine control of object interaction, it is network replicated, and IK interactions are supported by appropriate twist bones and the use of a post-process animation blueprint. So in total there are 34 blueprints, 7 animation blueprints, 43 static meshes, 8 animations, 10 materials and 20 textures. And again, this is network replicated as well, so I think this one looks absolutely amazing. This is normally £22, but it's on sale for 30% off, 
so it's now £15 for your personal license, and in professional it's normally £67, but on sale for £46. Next up, we've got the Stealth AI Starter Pack, which is actually made by Copper Gaming or My Game Studio. So I also just want to say as well that we've got Stealth AI, Dynamic Trap Systems, and the Companion AI Starter Pack are all on sale as well, but a little bit of a shameless plug there. So let's get back to the Stealth AI Starter Pack, which will allow you to set up multiple AI in your level at the click of a button that the player will have to stealthily maneuver around. These AI are easily customizable, either globally in the blueprint or individually within the level. Now all the AI use behavior trees and blackboards and are set up so you can easily add on to the current existing structure or remove and change anything you don't like. Now when placing AI blueprint in the level, you can decide between three main AI types by default, or you can easily create your own new category to choose from as well. But the three included by default are the patrol AI, the guard AI, and the search AI. Now the patrol system in this pack is all done through one blueprint. You can place it in your level, assign it to a value, and create your own patrol path, then assign as many AI as you want to this patrol path. Using just the one blueprint, you can create as many patrol paths as you want within your game, and the AI will stick to this patrol path until they detect the player. Upon this, they shall chase the player and then return to their next patrol point on the path once the chase ends. A guard AI can be set up to guard the location they spawn in, or walk to a set location in the level to guard there, and the search AI will just randomly search a defined area to look for the player. You've also got sight detection and noise detection as well, and those lead to a chase. And part of that as well is you also have a detection meter or bar, similar to what you may see in Far Cry or Hitman. So in total within this, there are 15 blueprints and 28 sound effects, as well as one example demo map. This is normally £32 for the personal license, but it's 30% off, so you can get it for £22. Or the professional license is normally £44, but you can get it for £31. Now it is the tile-based minimap. So this will create an in-game map of your level based on pre-rendered images that are taken in editor and then broken into tiles that are loaded dynamically during gameplay. This means you can render top-down images of your levels within the Unreal Editor, allowing you to use them directly or export them into an image editing software to enhance them. You can also easily create blips and icons for your objects using data tables and a single function from the provided subsystem. Multiple widgets can source the blips information at once. You can easily change the map widget shape rotation mode, zoom, tilt, and set optional overridable tile texture paths per minimap. You can mark locations on the map from placing icons and symbols to plotting out entire zones. You can take an array of locations within the world and draw a route on the grid based upon them, similar to how a GPS would create a route for the player to follow. So this features minimap based on tile grids, capturing tile images in editor, dynamic grid switching for interior and exterior, dynamic tile loading, blips which are multiplayer replicated as well, circle or rectangular zones, and a GPS draw route support. Now there are three blueprints and 26 C++ classes, and again this is network replicated. So this looks amazing. This is normally £50 for the personal license, but it's on sale 50% off, so you can get it for £25. Or the professional license is normally £67, but you can get it for £33.50. And next up is the zombie animations mocap. So this includes 105 mocap animations plus 281 bonus zombie audio. So there are 75 in-place animations, 30 root motion animations, and 281 bonus audio files as well. So the animations include attacking, locomotion, idle, jump, scream, hit, detection, eat, idle on the ground, falling, getting down, getting up, biting, and dead. And some of the audio sound effects you also have our attacking, detection, eating, idle, hit, jump, locomotion, and scream. So there are no blueprints included within this, only animation assets, skeletal meshes, and audio files. Again, you have 105 mo-capped animations, so they're very good, high quality. These are rigged to the epic skeleton, and these are rigged to the epic skeleton as well, so you should be able to very easily put them onto your own characters. Normally the personal license is £17, but it's 30% off £12, or the professional license is normally £35, but you can get it for £25. Now we have the 2.5D platformer game template. So with this asset pack, you'll have a great and easy start to developing your 2.5D platformer game, with everything you need for a quick start is included. So the systems included are character movement system, including wall jumping, firing and dash, a spline camera system, 15 plus traps, 
7 plus moving platforms, level unlock, two enemy types, those being flying and walking, a pickup system, and background music. Some of the environment elements are in advanced triplanar materials, a water shader, and 56 stylized environment models. Effects include 35 plus VFX, a water shader, a post-processed fog, and 17 sound effects. And the controls you have are normal movement, jump, double jump, dash, and shoot. So I think this one looks like a great start if you're trying to create a 2.5D platformer game, especially the camera system they've got as well. So in total, there are 86 unique static meshes, 60 blueprints, 35 VFX, 17 sound effects, 154 materials and material instances, and 242 textures. And this one isn't network replicated. The personal license for this is normally £44, but it's 50% off, so you can get it for £22. And the professional license is normally £178, but you can get it for £89. Next up, it is the Elven Modular Architecture. So this has a high attention to detail and weathering controls. You can adjust moss, dirt, and debris amount both globally and per material instance. So this features high attention to detail, nanite meshes, controllable weathering masks for moss, dirt, and debris, adjustable parameters via material instances, including contrast, brightness, roughness, and more, and also grid snapping. In total, there are 89 unique meshes, all of which have custom collision, and there are no LEDs as it's using Nanite instead. There are 141 materials and material instances with 87 textures, with the text resolutions being 2K and 4K. So I think this one looks absolutely amazing. The architecture looks great and the quality of it all looks amazing as well. The personal license for this is normally £53, but it's on sale at 50% off for £26. Or the professional license is normally £62, but on sale for £31. And finally, last but not least, we have the Explosions Mega Pack. So this pack tries to make your life easier when you need something to blow up. This pack includes all the effects in the following packs, which are three different volumes of explosion packs. So the type of VFX included within this are cinematic of nuke, air, and ground, and game ready of aerial, big, flak, gas, medium, sand, small, snow, and trails. So it includes 81 unique effects, 95 materials, 105 textures, one blueprint, and four unique meshes. The personal license for this is normally £35, but it's on sale at 70% off, so you can get it for £10. Or the professional license is normally £111, but you can get it on sale for £33.50. And so with that, I think that'll be it for this video of me just covering some assets within the June flash sale, and reminding you that the sale is going on, and just showcasing some which I found. Let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite one was from this selection, and any others which you know of which you want to share as well. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it and you did find it helpful with me sharing these, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel a lot. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.